Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rebecca and I am a fashion business student at Fashion Institute of Technology in South Korea. So I've been thinking a lot lately that um, last year when I wanted to apply to the university that weren't much information like the environment or the difference between the main campus in New York and also in Korea. So what I wanted to do is I really want to share my knowledge and my experience um, applying and also after one semester doing um, my studies there and like one semester online but still a um, total of two semesters studying in FIT SUNY Korea um, studying fashion business management and I also know a couple of things about fashion design um, but yeah I'm basically gonna share my experiences what to expect and the reality so firstly I'm going to talk about the majors available in FIT Korea um, if you know the FIT New York campus has a lot of majors but FIT um, Korea only offers two uh, majors you can choose between fashion business and also fashion design and you can um, study in Korea for two years and then go to New York for another two years to get your bachelor's degree. Since the first two years you're in Korea, you will only get an uh, associate's degree, which is um, in Indonesia, it's a level with dedika. So our campus is located at Songdo, Yonsu area. Incheon, so in that area, in Songdo, there is Yonsei and Incheon Global Campus. That is like the big family in the area. So Yonsei, you might have heard um, the university. It's like one kilometer away from our campus. And then our campus, Incheon Global Campus, the family, it, the area itself has a couple of campus. Um, there is University of Utah, Ghent, George Mason, and SUNY, um, State University of New York, Korea, and under SUNY Korea, there's FIT and SBU. SBU is more like a science um, university. It has computer science, business management, um, math, and something like that. Um, so we share the same campus building with SBU, and we share the same housing with all other universities from IGC. So the school actually is located in Incheon, which is kind of far from Seoul. It is quite close to the airport. It only takes 30 minutes by car, but like one hour by bus. Um, me personally, I think uh, it's a really good environment to study because it's really peaceful. You don't really have a lot of distractions, but there are still malls and like um, entertainment pla places that you can go to if you want to have like a Korean university experience where maybe you can go out and drink with your friends there is a place that you can do that near the campus and within um, about 15 to half an hour of transport we can take the subway or I think you can walk but it's kind of far but yeah it's still not that far um, and if you take the taxi if you share it with your friends, it will cost you around like two dollars and it will take you less than 10 minutes to go there. And then we have a mall. It is like a big combined mall. There are shopping, um, there are like retail stores, stationery stores. We have something called Daiso where you can get um, like cheap daily things from home appliances, cooking appliances, to stationeries and makeup. Yeah, it's like really cheap and it's a really good option. And we also have a supermarket. Um, it is located right in front of our campus. It's only five to 10 minutes walk away, depending on how fast you walk. But yeah, it's not that far. In FIT Korea, you have to stay in the dormitory for one year. So the options available for the scholarship for fashion business management um, are firstly, the encouragement award. It is 2,500 off the tuition. It applies for two semesters. And then for a merit scholarship, it is 5,000 
dollars from your tuition and it applies for four semester which is total of two years you're in korea and the last one is seven thousand five hundred and i'm not really sure what um scholarship that is but i one of my friend got a uh, demerit for her first semester and she applied again um after um after her first semester we were asked to give like a self um, report on how we did on the first on our semester and um, they will review it but you can also apply again for a for like a higher scholarship and my friend did that and got the encouragement award as an extra scholarship so she have total 7500 me myself I got the encouragement award from my from my application I personally didn't um, submit any SAT scores because I didn't do the test. I only submitted my IELTS score, my essay, and my report score for um, my high school. Uh, I think it's my 11th grade score. Um, I had to translate it to English using a translator um, service, like an authorized uh, translation service in Indonesia um, and then I have to send it to a um, like a world education institution that can convert your scores if you're not from the US they will convert your score system to like the US scoring system and um, they you will have to submit your scores through the mail you have to ship it to their office and there are a couple of, of options available um, I think they have to be in the NACES the National Association of Credential Evaluation Services or it is shortened as NACES I'll put it like right here um, it, it has to be one of that and the service I used was from WES which stands for World Education Services It is located in New York and since the main campus of FIT is located in New York I thought it's more convenient and I also asked my senior who entered FIT one year before me and she also used that service So um, well the shipping cost is kind of costly but um, that's what you have to do to um, submit your scores to enter the campus um, if you have SAT scores I asked the admissions office it says it will boost up your performance on your academic um, like submission but if you don't have it you don't have to so the thing with my friend is she actually got the encouragement award the 2500 um, scholarship at first but she asked to be she asked it to be reviewed again by the admissions office and they give they gave her the merit award which is five thousand so if um they are still like very open to international students they are trying to gain more and more international students so i believe that the chance of you to be accepted and also get a scholarship is really really high so don't be scared too much I think you should focus on your um, essay, your entrance essay. You can really state how passionate you are in the fashion industry and they will totally consider you to be their student. Lastly, I'm going to talk about the competitive environment and like friends in um, SUNY Korea or like FIT. Um, I would be talking specifically about fashion business management, my major and also in my year. It might differ from year to year and fashion design, I personally really respect the students from fashion design. They work so hard every day and they are really passionate in what they do and they are very very talented all of them are very talented if not talented they're very very hardworking, and they're very passionate about they, what they do that's why I really look up to them and unlike the fashion design students not not all the fashion business students are like that some maybe because it is an American school in Korea um, and it's not that hard to be accepted in FIT Korea since I my my um, batch is only the third third batch of students that they accepted in FIT Korea since they opened um, so it's like relatively new um, my experience not all of my classmates are that enthusiastic passionate 
and they're not really into fashion as much as I expected. I mean, some students are, and I'm really close with them since I share the same value and I really respect them. But do be reminded that um, you might not be in a class that's always lively and participative as you expected. At least that's what I'm ex that I expected. Um, but still, um, it is a chance for you to grow since the professors are really supportive and they really um, encourage you to talk, to participate, to research and like be up updated about the fashion world, the retail world. So that's how you can like develop yourself and the competition is not that stressful. So it is also a benefit for you guys that can't really handle that much stress. You can also develop yourself with many other skills since the school also offers like clubs. For me personally, I really love the course. It really prepares you for the work after you graduate. So you don't, you already have like expectations on how the, f the field is gonna be and you are filled with um, information of the current trends, current changes in the industry and not just something from the textbook and I believe that is re that's a really really good thing and the professors are also very very nice they are really like communicative because um, if you have any struggles you don't need to worry about anything you can just consult to them you can email them you can reach out to them and they will reach back to you and you can um, talk to them like heart to heart um, so it's really nice especially it's your first year and you might uh, seem kind of lost in your first semester or like your first year and um, the staffs are also very very supportive of you there um, there's the FIT Korea magazine it is called Ivy um, it stands for I visualize you my best friend is in that club and myself is in the merchandising club so we make merch for the school um, both for FIT and SBU and there are many other club options available like the Christian club or the Muslim club the dance club they have the coding club I think um, or the band club there are the hip-hop club I think um, many other clubs are available for you to develop yourself I personally believe that the campus offers you a lot of free time that you can like explore things around it is not as packed well, I personally take 21 credits and I still feel like there is still time, there are a lot of time available for you to study and also like explore the area. Not just the area, but also Seoul. If you want to go to Seoul, you have Saturdays free, you don't have Saturday class. Um, so you can go to Seoul, you can take the bus. And I'm going to talk about this in my next video about getting around and the things um, available in the area or like how to explore around in Korea if you've never been to Korea before. So I guess I'll stop here and we'll see you on my next video. Don't forget to like this video if you think this is useful and if I should make any more videos or if there's anything you're curious about, you can also drop um, some comments below or ask me on my um, social media accounts and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. See you next week